video I want to talk about SQL Server Reporting Services which is a web-based reporting portal. Here is my browser and you can see you just go to a URL um, that could be customized to be whatever you want um, whether it's external or internal it could be a public domain such as reporting.xyzcompany.com so you go to that URL and you'll get a list of folders these folders can be designed however you want whether it's different departments in the company or different types of reports and then security could be locked around each folder I'm going to click on the AdventureWorks folder here and you can see that there are various different reports within this folder I'm going to click on the employee sales summary report and the report is generated the parameters are at the top of the report and they were defaulted but if I wanted to come in here and rerun the report for a different parameter or filter that is passed into the report you could just rerun that um, report so if I wanted to choose October and then view report now data is, look, is displayed for October 2007 for this employee um, here listed uh, in the parameters above. Now these parameters can be designed however you wanted. So you could just you could this could be the start, the end date, client name, however you want to design the parameters. You could have 20 different parameters above or you could only have one parameter or no parameters. And then below is the report itself and you can see there are uh, var this various different information here. There's a line graph, uh, a table below it with different um, information summarized, and then you can see here's the uh, compare the sales quotas by category, and you can see there's different categories here. And if I click on a particular category to expand it, um, I get some interactivity, and you can see the different sales order for that particular category. So if I want to drill into a potential uh, the, the sales order under that category, I can do so. And so again, these reports can be designed however you want. Um, this is a sales order report um, for employees by month, um, by year. Uh, so reports are just pulling information from any database so we can design the reports to be anything you want. I'm going to go and run a different report, the sales by region. So you can see in this report, after it's generated, we'll display a graph here um, or a map of the United States and then I could um, click on a particular area or star um, to get this customer sales total so let's click on let's click on this star right here and there's no data so let's just click the back button and we'll go back to the report itself and we will find one that there is so let's click on this one in Idaho and there's no data there so let's click on another one let's click on Wyoming great so you can see this gave me um, my data um, where I drilled into for that particular for that state um, if I wanted to drill into the actual shop itself, I could do so. And you can see the information for that shop itself, for that particular customer. So I'm going to click the back button to go back to the report. And I'm going to go back to the top. and then now we're back to our original report that we ran so there's a lot of interactivity that you can build in that you can go from graph to chart to table 
um, however you want to, to get down to your detail information or if you want to summarize it um, in a dashboard type um, report. And then you can do such things as paginate through their pages. This is only has one page, but uh, if we had multiple pages, you could go to the next page or to the end. You can drill in or drill out, or excuse me, actually zoom in or zoom out. And then you can export the report. Um, the most popular formats are going to be CSV, PDF, Excel, and Word and you can print the report although I would recommend just exporting the report to a PDF and then you could just print it from there